WFNN. Headline News Update. Good afternoon, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of, well, right now, sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 1 p.m. update, and currently we have all the U.S. indices that we track trading to the downside. Dow's off 353, a little over 1%. S&P 1 and a quarter percent or 49 points. NASDAQ about 1 and 2 tenths, 150 points. Russell's off 25. Uh, semis are off 75 points, 2.5%. Spot Volatinix right now is trading above its 50-day exponential moving average. We'll want to know what, they're, what that is printing at at the end of the day. I believe it's about 27.40 or so or 27.51. Uh, you've got gold up two bucks, silver up 24 cents, is a little over one percent. Lights recruit up one and eight tenths percent or two bucks. 116.70 is the print there. Let's go take a look at that nine panel market update chart. We begin by taking a look at the ES mini upper left hand side. So you do have a new profile that is attempting to form. I'm using Stevie's advanced Doppler tool out there. So we won't have confirmation until this evening. But right now, that profile is uh, below price. And that's a bullish signal, even in a down market as we speak right now. We'll see if that actually takes hold. We'll know more tomorrow. We'll take a look at that. The next chart is the spot volatility. It's traded at uh, 27.40. The 50-day is, oh, it's 27.40. How about that? So we're sitting right on the 50-day exponents moving average. In other words, it's not giving us much of a signal right now. We'll call it neutral. The NASDAQ. Uh, is not uh, attempting to form a new profile, at least not as of yet. It does have resistance. It's trading in the resistance zone, which is basically between 12.622 and 12.995. It's a little bit below that area. U.S. dollar index is also attempting to form a new daily profile. Actually, it has formed one. It, uh, it, it formed yesterday. It completed last night. It's trading above that resistance level. That's at the 102.30 level. You get a close above 102.30. That says U.S. dollar index continues to move higher. Gold found support at the bottom of its Weekly profile, and that's a bullish structured weekly profile. Kind of hard to see it on the screen out here, but it did held that 1835.50 level. Silver is just really consolidating between its daily and its weekly profiles out here. The resistance level for it is really 2267. If price can get past that, you're looking at 2276 and then 2349. Lights Week Crude is dealing with a prior resistance swing point area at the 116.43 level. We're at 116.69. Closing above that would be a positive outcome. Natural gas still has that TD9 count pattern in place out here. That's a TD9 count top. Suggests that really price should pull back to the top of its daily profile on the 763 level. 30-year Treasury also attempted to form a new profile. Price is below that right now. That suggests lower price like 138.01. Folks, stay tuned for the Trader's Edge Show, but if you're off to start your Wednesday, have a wonderful one, and thanks for joining us. Sharpening your skin.